hello everyone and welcome back dear students today we are going to discuss the different steps of plant breeding you know that plant breeding is a science of uh, getting new genetic varieties of crops and the science of plant breeding is not a sim a single step process in a state it's a multi-step process in which the different steps are carried out in a systematic way in an ordered way ordered way in government institutions and commercial companies the main steps that we employ in creating a new genetic variety of crop are the first one is collection of variability in this step uh, all the different varieties in the form of seeds in the form of plants having all the diverse alleles for all the genes of a given crop they are collected okay so collection of germplasm or collection of variability means the collection of uh, plants seeds having all the diverse alleles for all the genes in a crop say for example you are having a crop and that crop possesses some 200 different genes and each gene is represented by a number of alleles if you are collecting the germplasm in a way so that all the different alleles of these 200 different genes are represented in the germplasm you have entirely collected the germplasm <coughs> okay and germplasm collection involves cultivated varieties that you are right now cultivating and even the wild relatives of these cultivated species you can get the germplasm from the wild relatives of these cultivated species the next step is evaluation and selection of parent plants okay in this step uh, you try to evaluate all the different varieties in the germplasm and you select two different parent plants in which the desired characters are present okay say for example out of the 200 different varieties that you have collected in the first step you wish to uh, have uh, the characters of two different varieties combined in the offspring for example a plant with large fruit number and a plant with higher disease resistance you can get these two plants as selected as parents okay <clears throat> now the next step is cross hybridization among the selected parents in this step the parent plants are cross hybridized okay and cross hybridization is done by a number of uh, ways it is simply the transfer of pollen grains from anthers of one plant one variety to the stigma of another variety uh, to allow them cross pollinate and finally fertilization takes place this results in the formation of seeds containing hybrid embryos okay and these hybrids they possess the desired characters of both the plants in just a single plant okay the characters of both the parents are present just in a single plant <clears throat> the science of hybridization the science the process of hybridization it is tedious okay it is quite cumbersome it is time consuming it takes a lot of time and besides this uh, these difficulties only one or two progenies in a few hundred show the desired combination of characteristics in the offsprings yaad rakhna if you have done the hybridization experiment 100 times only three or four times only in three or four hybridization experiments you will get the uh, right combination of characters in the offspring the rest 95 percent the rest 96 percent okay uh, experiments will not give you won't give you the desired combination of characters in the offsprings now the next step is uh, selection and testing of superior recombinants in this step the developed progenies the f1 progenies that you get they are evaluated for the a right combination of characters and those with the desired combination of characters uh, they are selected okay they are selected and self-pollinated to attain homozygosity okay and finally uh, testing release and commercialization of new cultivars in this step the new lines 
they are grown in research fields where they are tested for their agronomic traits of quality yield resistance to disease okay uh, now you have got the superior uh, recombinants okay these recombinants are not directly given to the farmers first of all they are being tested okay before they are given to the farmers and testing is done in research fields and in these research fields the recombinants are tested they are uh, checked whether they are agronomic traits of quality yield and resistance to diseases have increased or not and if your results are successful after testing the crops are released commercially for public usage or public consum uh, consumption okay that means after testing in the research fields the new varieties are given to uh, these farmers for commercialization okay this is all about the different steps of uh, this uh, plant breeding and in the next uh, part we are going to discuss the applications of plant breeding till then uh, stay blessed and thank you